Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a long awaited, a long overdue bookshelf tour. I haven't done a bookshelf tour in probably three years. It's been a while. I do a TBR bookshelf tour every single year because those are my to be read books. It's a smaller bookshelf. I'll link that video down below. But I haven't done one for my huge red collection and the books that you always see behind me in videos. I haven't done a tour of all of these books in a very long time. I think I have almost a thousand books. I know I have 960. These I have all read and I have been growing my collection since 2012. So I have been collecting these books for almost 10 years, which is crazy. My shelves are the Ikea Billy bookshelves and I have seven of them. Eight of them including my TBR shelf, which is in my bedroom, but I have seven in this room and I'm currently using five and a half of them. So I have like a half and a whole shelf left to use. Um, so I still have quite a bit of room. I do have, I would say like maybe two shelves that I haven't read in this room. One of them is like my classic shelf and then one of them is a bunch of historical romances that I bought for a video. So those are like the only two shelves in here that I haven't read, but everything else I've read, I will explain more as I go through the tour. And for those who are curious, I have no specific way that I organize them. I mainly just put authors together. So if, you know, one author has a bunch of books, I'll have a whole shelf dedicated to them. Like I have a whole Jennifer L. Armitage shelf. I have a whole Abby Glines shelf, which that shelf you don't ever see in videos because there's a bed right in front of it. So it's hard to show. So I never really show it. I have a whole Cassandra Clare shelf right here. I have like a Christina Lauren shelf. So I will show you guys obviously throughout the tour, but I don't organize them in any specific way. It's just I put authors together and I just put everything in a way that looks nice or looks pleasing or appealing to me. I wish I could do a rainbow shelf. That seems really fun, but my organization mind just can't deal with that. Like I need to have authors together. If they're not together, it feels weird. <laughs> like I need to have all the authors and their series together. For this tour, I am going to show you guys like each shelf. I'm not going to pull out each book one by one. I'll just kind of show you the shelf and name each book. Pulling out one by one is just, it's a lot of work and that requires a lot of editing and I just, I really don't have time to do any of that. I will link all of my past bookshelf tours and past to be read bookshelf tours. I'll link everything about my bookshelf tours down below. I think that's it. So let's get on with the tour. So this is basically what the room looks like on a daily basis with my lights in the corner and like my setup for when I film. And I usually always have the curtains closed pretty much every day just because I don't want my books to get sun damage because this is a window that has a lot of sun. So I pretty much just have everything blocked off, but this is kind of what it just looks like a normal day for me. Um, I will show you guys with everything out of the room and with the curtains open. So this is how my collection looks with the curtains open and none of the stuff in the way. This is my book room, my filming room, and my spare bedroom if I ever have guests or family that stay over. The bed set is from Urban Outfitters, if you were wondering. And my posters, I have three posters here. These are from the Boleyn King Trilogy by Laura Anderson. I won these in a giveaway and they are all signed. These are just like the book covers and they're really pretty so I just put them in frames. And then I do have a poster of Fifty Shades of Grey. This I won on a Twitter giveaway. It's really just hard to show things in general because this room isn't very big and like the bed is obviously in the way and that's why I can't film in front of like those shelves because the bed is in the way and I don't want to move it because it scratches the floor. But this is pretty much what my shelves look like from afar and obviously you can tell I still have a lot of space left so I definitely could grow my collection even more but yeah this is what it pretty much looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys the first shelf over there. So this is the first bookshelf and sadly this is one you never see in videos because it is blocked 
by the bed. Also, this whole video I'm going to be holding my camera, so if it's very unsteady, I'm sorry, but my tripod is not high enough, and I don't really want to mess with my tripod, so I have it like at the perfect length, and sometimes it is hard to get it back to normal, so I'm going to be showing you all of the books while holding my camera, so hopefully I'm steady enough. So on the first shelf on the first bookcase, we have Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios, Perfect Ruin by Lauren Stefano, Burning Kingdom, and Broken Crown by Lauren Stefano. Then we have Wither, Sever, and Fever, all by Lauren Stefano as well. Then we have my Maggie Steve Otter collection. So we have the Scorpio Races, the Raven Boys, the Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, the Raven King, Shiver, Linger, Forever, and Sinner. And then we have Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness, More Than Her, More Than Him, and More Than Forever by Jay McLean, Legend, Prodigy, and Champion by Marie Lu, Every Heart a Doorway by Sean M. McGuire, The Conspiracy of Us, Map of Fates, and the Ends of the World by Maggie Hall, and then I have All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Also, I'm sorry if I sound out of breath, guys. <laughs> I'm so out of shape, but anyways. So this is the second shelf, which is my Jennifer L. Armitrout collection. And I have a wonderful Harley Quinn Funko Pop right there. I'll just move her out of the way. So I have Moonlight Sin, Moonlight Seduction, and Moonlight Scandal, Forever With You, Till Death, From Blood and Ash, Wait For You. I have the Wicked Trilogy, so Wicked, Torn, and Brave. Then I have the Lux series, Obsidian, Onyx, Opal, Origin, and Opposition. And then Oblivion, White Hot Kiss, Storm and Fury, The Darkest Star, The Burning Shadow, Don't Look Back, The Problem with Forever, and then I have the Covenant series. So I have the first little novella, which is Demon? Demon? And then I have Half-Blood, Pure, Deity, Apollo, and Sentinel, and then I have also the last little novella which is elixir i have pretty much read all of jennifer l armitrout's books but these are the only ones that i own now onto the third shelf so i have my entire addicted series slash calloway sisters series by krista and becca ritchie so i have addicted to you ricochet and addicted for now these are the old covers these are like the first editions then I have Addicted to You, Ricochet, Addicted for Now, Kiss the Sky, Hothouse Flower, Thrive, Addicted After All, Feel the Fire, Long Way Down, and Some Kind of Perfect. Then I have Hate Story by Nicole Williams, The Sea of Tranquility by Katya Malay. Then I have The Grown Up by Jillian Flynn, Dark Places, Sharp Objects, and Gone Girl, also all by Jillian Flynn. Is it Jillian Gillian? I never know. The Bronze Horseman, Tatiana and Alexander, and The Summer Garden by Paulina Simons. And then I have A Thousand Pieces of You, Ten Thousand Skies Above You, and A Million Worlds With You by Claudia Gray. Now onto the next shelf, which is pretty much like my Abby Glines and Katie Evans collection. Fallen Too Far, Never Too Far, and Forever Too Far. Twist of Perfection, Simple Perfection. Take a Chance, One More Chance. You Were Mine, When I'm Gone, When You're Back, The Best Goodbye. Those are all by Abby Glines, and those are part of the Rosemary Beach series. And then I have the Sea Breeze series by Abby Glines, which is Breathe, Because of Low, While It Lasts, Just For Now, Sometimes It Lasts, Misbehaving, Hold On Tight, Bad For You, Until The End. And then I have the Vincent Boys Field Party series by Abby Glines. So we have Until Friday Night, Under The Lights, After The Game, losing the field and making a play. Here I have my Katie Evans collection. So I have Real, Mine, Ripped, Legend, and Racer, and then Man Whore and Man Whore Plus One. And then I have Looking Inside by Beth Carey. And then here's the next shelf. This is my Cassandra Clare shelf. So I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I have a mass market paperback of City of Bones, which I actually got for free at a 
a movie theater. I was in line to watch The Host and they were giving away free copies, I think in preparation for the movie to come out. Behind that, I have my copies of City of Bones, City of Ashes, and City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire, The Bane Chronicles, Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy, Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, and Queen of Air and Darkness. And then I have the 10th Anniversary Editions of City of Bones and Clockwork Angel. And then I do have the Shadowhunters Codex. As you can see, this shelf is officially full, so I can no longer fit any of Cassandra Clare's books on here. I do have one that you'll see on a different shelf, but yeah, this whole shelf is just full of her books, which I can't believe I have that. Anyways, here is the last shelf. I organized them this way because it saves a lot of space. And this is a lot of books that I don't really care about or books that I've owned for a very, very long time. And I don't know, I just like the way that it looks for some reason. Here we have Delica Road by Melina Marchetta. Take the Key and Lock Her Up, See How They Run and All Fall Down by Ali Carter. How It Feels to Fly by Katherine Holmes. Mind Games by Kirsten White. Love Letters to the Dead by Eva Delaria, Vicky Normal by Courtney Stevens, Bone Gap by Laura or Lauren Ruby, The Perfectionist by Sarah Shepard, Pretty Little Liars by Sarah Shepard, Summer Hill Secrets Volume 1 and 2 by Beverly Lewis, The Death of One of Us, Me and Me, both by Alice Coopers, The Book Thief by Mark Zusak, Stolen by Lucy Christopher, A Walk to Remember and the Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, My Life Next Door and The Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick, Even When You Lie to Me by Jessica Alcott, The Hunger Games, Mockingjay and Catching Fire by Suzanne Collins. I just realized now they're out of order. Even It in Paradise by Chelsea Philpott, Made for You by Melissa Marr, Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire by Sarah Roche, Toxic Heart and Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. So this is my second bookshelf. Now we're getting into the books that you definitely see in my backgrounds, in my videos. You mainly see this one, this one, and this one. So I do try to put like my favorite books on those three shelves or the books that I would consider are more my brand or who I am or the type of reader I am. So that's why a lot of my YA is up higher or way down below because I don't really read YA anymore. So this is book shelf number one on the second bookcase. So right here I have Angel Fall, World After and End of Days by Susan E. Dreamology by Lucy Keating. Divergent, Insurgent, A Legion, and Four by Veronica Roth. The Pledge, The Offering, and The Essence by Kimberly Durding. Starcross, Dreamless, Godless by Josephine Angelini. Born at Midnight, Awake at Dawn, Taken at Dusk, Whispers at Moonrise, and Chosen at Nightfall by C.C. Hunter. And then I have the Black Dagger Brotherhood Insider's Guide by J.R. Ward. This I actually found at a thrift store like a really long time ago. And then I have my entire Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. So right here I have Dark Lover, Lover Eternal, Lover Awakened, Lover Revealed, Lover Unbound, Lover Enshrined, and Lover Avenged. And then behind that, I have even more. I have Lover Mine, Lover Unleashed, Lover Reborn, Lover at Last, The King, and then I have the Black Dagger Legacy books, so Blood Kiss and Blood Vow. By the way, these are not all the ones I have read. These are just some of them that I own in physical copy. I think currently I am at The Chosen. Now onto the second bookshelf. So I have my little Daredevil Funko Pop. I really love Daredevil and Matt Murdock, so I of course had to buy one. I have The Naturals, Killer Instinct, All In, and Bad Blood by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. The Fixer and the Long Game by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Nightshade by Andrew Creamer. Cherry by Lindsay Rosen. I'll Give You the Sun and the Skies Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. Switched, Torn, and Ascend by Amanda Hawking. 
Frostfire, Ice Kissed, and Crystal Kingdom, also by Amanda Hawking. The Goddess Tess, Goddess Interrupted, and The Goddess Inheritance by Amy Carter. Wink, Poppy Midnight, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, and Between the Spark and the Burn, all by April Genevieve Tuchulk. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name, I'm sorry. The Man Man's Daughter, Her Dark Curiosity and a Cold Legacy by Megan Shepard. The Cage and the Hunt, also by Megan Shepard. Now onto the third shelf, which you do see in pretty much all of my videos. So we have Bared to You, Reflected in You, Entwined with You, Captivated by You, and One with You by Sylvia Day. Afterburn and Aftershock, also by Sylvia Day. I have my small Laura Lynn Page collection, so I have First Touch, Last Kiss, Fixed on You, Chandler, and Hot Cop, which Hot Cop is also by Sierra Simone. Then I have my Penny Reed collection. So right there in the middle, you can barely see it, I have Kissing Tolstoy. I have the Elements of Chemistry trilogy, so I have Attraction, Heat, and Capture. And then I have my Winston Brothers series, so Truth or Beard, Grin or Bearded, Beard Science, Beard in Mind, Dr. Strange Beard, Beard with Me, and Beard Necessities. And then I have Engagement and Espionage, Stepbrother Dearest by Penelope Ward, Driven, Fueled, and Crashed by Kay Bromberg, The Contract by Melanie Morland, Tall, Tatted, and Tempting, Smart, Sexy, and Secretive, both by Tammy Faulkner, Beauty from Pain and Dear Agony, both by Georgia Cates, Crave by Adriana Locke, The Hookup and the Friend Zone by Kristen Callahan, and Ice Planet Barbarians and Barbarian Mine, both by Ruby Dixon. Now on to the fourth shelf. The Deal, The Mistake, The Score, The Goal, and The Risk by L. Kennedy. When It's Real, Paper Princess, Broken Prince, and Twisted Palace, all by Aaron Watts. In Flight by R.K. Lilly. Sacked by Jen Frederick. Until November, Until Trevor, Until Lily, Until Nico all by Aurora Rose Reynolds, and then I have a special edition of Until November, also by Aurora Rose Reynolds. I have my Sylvain Renard collection, so I have Gabriel's Inferno, Gabriel's Rapture, Gabriel's Redemption, and Gabriel's Promise. The Raven, The Shadow, and The Roman, and then The Man in the Black Suit. Bully, Rival, and The Next Flame, all by Penelope Douglas. Four Letter Word, Hit the Spot, Bad for You, and Down Too Deep, all by G. Daniels, as well as Where I Belong. Bookshelf number five. I have my entire After Collection by Anna Todd. So I have After and After We Collided in the movie editions. Then I have After, After We Collided, After We Fell, After Ever Happy, and Before. And then I do have Nothing More by Anna Todd. Sustained, Sidebarred, and Royally Screwed, all by Emma Chase. We Shouldn't by Vi Keeland. Dears Clementine and Finding Dandelion by Lex Martin. Cream of the Crop by Alice Clayton. Sugar Daddy, Sugar Rush, and Sugar Free by Sawyer Bennett. Misadventures of a College Girl by Lauren Rowe. And Misadventures of a Backup Bride by Shayla Black. Chasing Red and Always Red by Isabel Ronan. And then I have my Fifty Shades collection. So I have Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker, and Fifty Shades Freed in the movie editions, and then I have them in the regular editions as well. And then the final bookshelf on bookcase number two, I have Nowhere But Here, Walk the Edge, and Long Way Home by Katie McGarry. I have my beautiful Lauren Oliver collection, so I have Before I Fall, Delirium, Pandemonium, and Requiem, Panic, Vanishing Girls, and Replica, Dare Me by Megan Abbott, and then I have my Stephanie Meyer collection, so I have The Host, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, Life and Death, Midnight Sun, and The Chemist. Here is the third bookcase or bookshelf. So here is the first shelf on the third bookcase. I have my little mermaid Ariel Funko Pop. I have my Tahara Mothby collection, so I have Shatter Me, Unravel Me, Ignite Me, Restore Me, Defy Me, and Imagine Me. Then I have Crave by Tracy Wolf, Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin, Halo, Hades, and Heaven by Alexandra Ardenetto. Then I have my Marissa Meyer collection, so I have Cinder, Scarlet Crest, Winter, Fairest, Stars Above, Wires and Nerve, Renegades, Arch Nemesis, and Supernova. Here is the next shelf. 
I have the Fallen Kingdoms series by Morgan Rhodes. So I have Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, Gathering Darkness, Frozen Tides, Crystal Storm, and Immortal Rain. The Program series by Suzanne Young. The Program, The Treatment, The Remedy, The Epidemic, and The Adjustment. Altered, Reborn, and Erased by Jennifer Rush. Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door. And Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. I just realized these are in the wrong order as well. I don't know why. Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. The Winner's Curse, The Winner's Crime, and The Winner's Kiss by Marie Rutkowski. Now onto the third shelf, which is one of my favorite shelves. I have a lot of my favorite books on here. So I have my beautiful Funko Pop of Ariel. And then behind that, I have The Kiss Quotient and The Bride Test by Helen Huang. Bittersweet by Serena Bowen. Man Hands by Serena Bowen and Tanya Ebai. Monster in His Eyes, Torture to Her Soul, and Target on Our Backs by J.M. Darhauer. Sempre and Sempre Redemption by J.M. Darhauer. The Learning Hours and the Coaching Hours by Sarah Nye. Jock Row and Jock Rule by Sarah Nye. Unbreak of My Heart, Change of Heart, Heart of Glass, and Peace of My Heart by Nicole Jacklin. The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. The Mighty Storm and Weathering the Storm by Samantha Towell. I have a couple of Karina Halley books right here. So I have Discretion, A Nordic King, Dirty Angels, Wild Card, and My Life in Shambles. A Place in the Sun, Arrogant Devil, and His Royal Highness by R.S. Gray. The Friend Zone and the Happily Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. Then we have shelf number four. This is my Christina Lauren collection. I also have a couple of mass market paperbacks. Beautiful Bastard, Beautiful Secrets, Beautiful Boss, Beautiful Beginning, and Beautiful by Christina Lauren. These are some of the books in the Beautiful Bastard series. Sweet Filthy Boy, Dirty Rowdy Thing, Dark Wild Night, and Wicked Sexy Liar. These are part of the Wild Seasons series, I think. Dating You slash Hating You, Roomies, Love and Other Words, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, My Favorite Half Night Stand, the Unhoneymooners, Twice in a Blue Moon, and The Honey Don't List. Then I have Irresistible, Undeniable, Insatiable, Unbreakable, and Unforgettable by Melanie Harlow. I have my two copies of The Secret History by Donna Tartt. And then I have some mass market paperbacks here. So in front, I have While the Duke Was Sleeping by Sophie Jordan. I have The Duchess Steel, The Governess Game, and The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. And then behind that, I have Ricky Move, Hard Hitter, and Pipe Dreams by Serena Bowen. On Dublin Street by Samantha Young. Head Over Heels by Jennifer Dawson. Claimed, Addicted, and Ruled by Elle Kennedy. And Sins and Needles by Karina Halley. And then shelf number four is another one of my favorites. Very colorful. Archer's Voice, Most of All You and More Than Words by Mia Sheridan. Normal People by Sally Rooney. I have my Helena Hunting collection, so I have The Good Luck Charm, Meet Cute, Shacking Up, A Lie for a Lie, and Pucked Off. Get a Life, Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert. I have my Samantha Young collection. I have another copy of On Dublin Street. Down London Road, Before Jamaica Lane, Fall from India Place, Echoes of Scotland Street, Hero, and Fight or Flight. Passion on Park Avenue, Love on Lexington Avenue, and Marriage on Madison Avenue, and The Prenup, all by Lauren Lane. These Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Bad Boy Rockers by Lexi Buchanan. You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogel. The Bromance Book Club and Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams. Fix Her Up and Love Her or Lose Her by Tessa Bailey. Well Met by Jen DeLuca, All Lined Up, All Broke Down, and All Played Out by Cor Carmack, and then I have The Rocker Who Needs Me by Terry Ann Browning. And then the last shelf on this third bookcase. So I have my entire Rochelle Mead collection. So I have Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and The Last Sacrifice. Then I have the 10th Anniversary Edition of Vampire Academy, the Bloodline series, so Bloodline, The Golden Lily, the Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, 
Silver Shadows, and the Ruby Circle. Then I have The Stars Never Rise by Rachel Vincent. The Book Jumper by an author I cannot pronounce. Sorry about that. Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage. Between Us and the Moon by Rebecca Maisel. Sweet Evil, Sweet Peril, Sweet Reckoning, and Sweet Temptation by Wendy Higgins. Alienated and Invaded by Melissa Landers. And then I have Charlie Presumed Dead by Anne he he Heltzel. Heltzel. <laughs> now on to the fourth bookcase. So this is the first shelf on the fourth bookcase. I have Nearly Gone and Nearly Found by El Casamino. I have my Jenny Han collection to all the boys I've loved before. P.S. I Still Love You, Always and Forever, Laura Jean. This Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. The Bowling King, The Bowling Deceit, and The Bowling Reckoning by Laura Anderson. The Virgin's Daughter, The Virgin's Spy, and The Virgin's War, also by Laura Anderson. Under the Never Sky, through the Ever Night and Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. The Collector, The Liberator, and The Warrior by Victoria Scott. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Rune and Rising, Six of Crows, and Crooked Kingdom, all by Lee Bardugo. Then we get to the second shelf. I have my Vampire, Bella, and Edward Funko Pops. They're super cute. I love them. So we have The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Audier. The Kiss of Deception, The Heart of Betrayal, and The Beauty of Darkness by Mary A. Pearson. The Girl of Fire and Thorns, The Crown of Embers, and The Bitter Kingdom by Ray Carson. The Archived and the Unbound by Victoria Schwab. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Tarnished by Catherine Longshore. Three Dark Crowns, Anti-Goddess. Mortal Gods and Ungodly by Kendar Blake. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, The Retribution of Mara Dyer, and The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. The Sun is Also a Star and Everything Everything by Nicole Yoon. Then we have the third shelf which is another one of my favorites. So I have The Dominator, Truth or Dare, and Unbound by Dee Dee Prince, Quilty by Mariana Zapata, Untouchable by Sam Mariano. I have my small Devney Perry collection. So I have The Coppersmith Farmhouse, Tattered and Tinsel, Gypsy King, and Riven Knight. Then I have my pretty big Cora Riley collection. I have Bound by Honor, Bound by Duty, Bound by Hatred, Bound by Temptation, Bound by Vengeance, Bound by Love, and Bound by the Past, which are part of the Born in Blood Mafia Chronicles. Twisted Emotions, Twisted Pride, and Twisted Bonds, which are part of the Kimura Chronicles series. Then I have two of her standalones, which are Sweet Temptation and Fragile Longing. I have Landon and Shea Part 1 and Southern Storms by Brittany C. Cherry, Chasing the Moon by S.M. Soto, A Discovery Witches, Shadow of Night, The Book of Life, Times Convert, and The World of All Souls, all by Deborah Harkness. Then I have the fourth shelf. Again, it has a couple of mass market paperbacks on this shelf as well. I have my K.A. Tucker collection, One Tiny Lie, Four Seconds to Lose, Five Ways to Fall, Burying Water, Becoming Rain, Chasing River, and Surviving Ice, He Will Be My Ruin, Until It Fades, Keep Her Safe, and The Simple Wild. I have a couple of books by Kristen Proby. Listen to Me, Close to You, Blush for You, The Beauty of Us, All the Way, All It Takes, and After All. Then I also have Shadows and Spells by Kristen Proby. The Bad Guy by Celia Aaron. The Bourbon Thief by Tiffany Reese. The Professional, The Master, and The Player by Cressley Cole. I have Married by Morning, Love in the Afternoon, and again, The Magic by Lisa Claypez. The Darkest Night and The Darkest Kiss by Gina Showalter. Pleasure of a Dark Prince and Demon from the Dark by Cressley Cole. And then I have the rest of my Immortals After Dark series by Cressley Cole. So I have Kiss of a Demon King, Deep Kiss of Winter, Dark Desires After Dusk, Dark Needs at Night's Edge, Wicked Deeds on a Winter's Night, No Rest for the Wicked, and A Hunger Like No Other. Now on to the fifth shelf. So I have my entire gem collection. I have This Man, Beneath This Man, This Man Confessed, and With This Man. One Night Promised, 
One Night Denied and One Night Unveiled, The Controversial Princess and His True Queen, The Protector, The Forbidden, Gentleman Sinner, and Love Me Breathless, The Girl in 6E, Do Not Disturb, and If You Dare by A.R. Tour, Hot Ticket by Olivia Cunning, then I have my Colleen Hoover collection, Ugly Love, November 9, Confess, Point of Retreat, Maybe Someday, It Ends With Us, and Finding Cinderella, and then I have three J.A. Redmersky books, so I have The Song of Fireflies, the Edge of Always, and the Moment of Letting Go. And then here's the last shelf on this fourth bookcase. Grey of Mercy by Robin Lefevers. The Walls Around Us by Nova Rensuma. This is Where It Ends by Marique Ninjkamp, I think. Then I have some more Jenny Han books. I don't know why I didn't put them with the other collection, but I have Burn for Burn, Fire with Fire, and Ashes to Ashes by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I Tell You I Love You, But Then I'd Have to Kill You, and High Society by Ali Carter, The Dark Endeavor by Kenneth Opal, The Lux by Anna Godberson, Poison Study by Maria V. Schneider, The Summer After You and Me by... Jennifer Salvato Dr. Roski, Ask the Passengers by A.S. King, Sing by Vivi Green, How to Keep a Boy from Kissing You by Tara Eglinton, Made You Up by Francesca Zappia, Black City Wings and Phoenix by Elizabeth Richards, Something in Between by Melissa De La Cruz, Anne and Henry by Dawn Ayas, The Diviners by Libba Bray, The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. It is very difficult to see it in this lighting, but I have Splintered by E.G. Howard, Faded by Alison Noel, and Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. This is the fifth bookshelf that I own. This one you never see in videos at all. Eventually, when I fill this side, you will be able to see it in videos because I'll probably film in this location too, but for now, it is a shelf you never really see. So here is the first shelf. I have Kiss, Kill, Vanish by Jessica Martinez, Trial by Fire and Firewalker by Josephine Angelini, The Young Elites and the Rose Society by Marie Lu, Illusions of Fate by Kristen White, Deathless by Catherine M. Valenti, All the Missing Girls by Megan Miranda, Reconstructing Amelia by Kimberly McCrate, Ruin and Rule by Pepper Winters, Saint Anything by Sarah Dessen, Tonight the Streets Are Ours by Leela Sales, Ruby Red by, is it Kristen Gear? Yes, Kristen Gear. Exquisite Captive by Heather Demetrios, All in Pieces by Suzanne Young, The Lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia, Rebel Bell, Miss Mayhem, and Lady Renegades, all by Rachel Hopkins, Matched, Reached, and Cross by Ellie Condi, which I think actually is in the wrong order. These Broken Stars, This Shattered World, and Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Then we have shelf number two. Boys of Summer by Jessica Brody. See Me by Wendy Higgins. On the Edge by Allison Van Dypen. A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Thoughtless by S.C. Stevens. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sands. The Matchmaker's Playbook by Rachel Van Dyken. I have another copy of The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick, The Replacement Crush by Lisa Brown Roberts, What Happens Now by Jennifer Castle, Magonia, or is it Magonia, and Airy by Maria Devana Headley, The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, Burial Rights by Hannah Kent, After You by Jojo Moyes, Hidden Bodies by Carolyn Kepnes, the Husband's Secrets by Leanne Moriarty, The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt, The Couple Next Door by Sherry Lapina, Rooms by Lauren Oliver, Sweet Bitter by Stephanie Handler, The Girls by Emma Klein, Unfiltered by Lily Collins, You by Caroline Kepnes, 
Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty and The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls. Let's move on to the third shelf, which is a lot of my classics. A lot of these I have not read. I don't want to put them on my TBR bookshelf because I like how they look in here and they're just really colorful and pretty. So I like to have them on this shelf, but a lot of them I have not read. So I have The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. This is the 50th anniversary edition. I read this in high school and I wanted my own copy. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, which I have not read. I have The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I have read. Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov, which I have read. And then I have Romeo and Juliet which I have also read. And then I have Milk and Honey by Rupi Carr. I have another copy of The Great Gatsby. These are all of the Arctis, Arcta, Arctis, Arcturus editions. And these I bought on Indigo slash Chapters. And they're just really pretty and I love how they look all together. So I haven't read any of the other ones. But I have 1987, Animal Farm, Dracula, Inferno, Classic Tales of Horror, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and Other Strange Stories, Frankenstein, Tess of Duberville, The Bell Jar, Weathering Heights, Jane Eyre, Persuasion, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, The Picture of Dorian Gray, Phantom of the Opera, Great Expectations, A Tale of Two Cities, The Old Man and the Sea, A Farewell to Arms, The Iliad, Il Ilid, I never know how to say that. The Odyssey, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, Peter Pan and Peter Pan in Kensington Garden, and Robin Hood. Those are all of my classics that I own. Then I have The Selection, The Elite, The One, The Heir, The Crown, and The Siren by Kira Cass, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. Here is shelf number three. I have my Casey West collection. So I have Pivot Point and Split Second, The Distance Between Us, The Fill-In Boyfriends, P.S. I Like You, By Your Side, Lucky in Love, Love, Life, and the List, and Listen to Your Heart. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson, Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas, Wanderlust by... Jen Malone, Wild Swans by Jessica Spotswood, Easy by Tamara Weber, Bad Romeo, Broken Juliet, and Wicked Heart by Lisa Raven, Release Me by Jay Kenner, Roman Crazy by Alice Clayton and Nina Bochi, One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Perfect Chemistry, Chain Reaction, Rules of Attraction, and Wild Cards by Simone Elkelez, and Red Queen, Glass Sword, and King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Now onto the fifth shelf. I have Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, Hollywood Dirt by Alessandra Tor, The Ring and the Crown by Melissa De La Cruz, The Jewel, The White Rose, and The Black Key by Amy Ewing, Me Before You by Jojo Moyes, Night Film by Marcia Pestle, The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Steedman, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Undone by Kat Clark, Everneath, Everbound, and Ever True by Brody Ashton, Dirty Sexy Saint by Carly Phillips and Erica Wilde, 99% Mine by Sally Thorne, The Rock King by Tara Lee, Changes in Latitude by Jen Malone, Intercepted by Alexa Martin, Dune, Destined for Dune, Shades of Dune, and Forever Dune by... Terry Corp and Lori Langdon. A Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, A Court of Wings and Ruin, and A Court of Frost and Starlight, all by Sarah J. Mass. And then the last bookshelf. Captive Prince, Prince's Gambit, and King's Rising by C.S. Paquette. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. I have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. The Sacred Lives of Minnow Belai by Stephanie Oakes. Emancipated by M.G. Reyes. Starflight by Melissa Landers. Bound to You by Alyssa Brandon. The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Worga. The Summer of Chasing Mermaids by Sarah Oakler. The Queen of Bright and Shiny Things by Anne Aguirre. Every Day by David Levithan. Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. Compulsion by Martina 
Spoon, The Orphan's Queen by Jodie Meadows, Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Lainey Taylor, and Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir, and Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Now on to the last bookshelf, which is actually pretty empty and messy. So here is the first shelf. It's kind of a bunch of random books. I also have some stuff from PR packages and book boxes and stuff. So up here I have Ghost of the Shadow Market, which is a, another Cassandra Clare book that I have that doesn't fit on the shelf. Same with the illustrated History of Noble Shadow Hunters and Denis Zenz of the Downworld. Why did I never notice that before? Anyways, it's just an illustrated copy of all of the Shadow Hunter characters. Forever With You by Laura Lynn Page. It's not with the rest of my Laura Lynn Page collection because it is bigger than the rest of the books and it's not the edition I wanted, but I do still own it. Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. Running in the Dark in the City of Light by Anne Jacobus. Jacobus. The Last Time We Were Us by Leah Conan. The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. Fury Born by Claire Legrand. Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore. The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher. Beautiful Disaster and Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. Ties a Tether by Jane Agaro. Beach Read by Emily Henry. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Reboot and Rebel by Amy Tintera. A Walk in the Sun by Michelle Zink. Falling into Place by Amy Zhang. And then I have a couple of mass market paperbacks here. I have A Brother's Honor by Brenda Jackson. Craving His Best Friend's Ex by Catherine Good. Bria, The Trouble with Mistletoe by Jill Chavez, Shadow Rider by Kristen Fian, Make It Count by Megan Erickson, Solis by Gail Carriger, and Dark Prince by Christine Fian. And then the next shelf, Unearthly, Hollowed, and Boundless by Cynthia Hand, Of Poseidon, Of Triton, and Of Neptune by Anna Banks, If I Stay, Where She Went, and Just One Day by Gail Foreman, The Iron King and the Iron Daughter by Julie Kagawa, Sleep No More by April Lynn Pike, Did I Mention I Love You by Estelle Maskame, The Weight of Feathers, and Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, The Love That Split the World in a Million Junes by Emily Henry, The Definitions of Indefinable Things by Whitney Taylor, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Mass, A Book of Spirits and Thieves and The Darkest Magic by Morgan Rhodes, and The Dead House by Dawn Kurtigit. And then we have bookshelf number three, which is very empty, but I have a Seasons for Fireflies by Rebecca Maisel, Charm and Strange by Stephanie Kuhn, Strictly Confidential by Linda Archer, Amy and Roger's Epic Detour, and Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, Finale, Black Ice, and Dangerous Lies, all by Becca Fitzpatrick, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Wolf. And When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandia Menon. And then the fourth shelf is empty, but I just have a bunch of stuff that I got from book boxes or my Funko Pop boxes. I just keep them in here. I don't know. Eventually I will get rid of it when I have enough books, but for now I just keep it there. And then the fifth shelf, I actually haven't read any of these books. So these are all historical romances and I bought these for a mystery eBay unboxing video. So I will link that whole video down below because I'm not gonna go through all of these. Sadly, I just feel like it's really unnecessary and if you have watched that video, you've seen all of these. The only ones that I didn't show in that video were uh, Brave the Wild Wind by Joanna Lindsay and Brazen Heart by Rosalyn Elsobrook. These ones I hauled separately because I got these at a thrift store, but everything else I hauled in that historical romance video, so I will link it down below. But if you want, you can just pause on all of this. I'll show you guys what is in the back over here. 
Sorry I'm not going to go full into detail for this shelf. I just feel like it's really unnecessary because I honestly haven't read any of them yet. I would put these in my TBR bookshelf, but... I don't have room for them, so I just put them on this nice little shelf. And I'm sure at some point I am gonna unhaul most of them, so I don't really wanna go full into detail. Sorry about that. And this final, final shelf is kind of a mix of everything. I have like some childhood books. These books are books I have unhauled, I just haven't gotten rid of yet. So I'm not gonna go into detail for those. You can watch my recent unhaul, which I think I unhauled them like last summer and I still haven't gotten rid of them yet but eventually they're gonna go, so I'm not gonna go through those. I do have a full box set of the Harry Potter series. I don't know what this collection is called, but I've had this collection for years, and I think it's so pretty. I do love these editions. I've only read the first three Harry Potter books, but I really love the movies, and I'm sure eventually at some point in my life I will read the whole series, but for now it's just collecting dust and you don't even see them on my shelf. Like I have them like this for some reason. And then here's a very miscellaneous group of books. I have some books from like my childhood. This is a French Bible that my grandmother gave me when I was a kid. I have my graphic novels here. So I have Harley Quinn, Hot in the City. And then I have my Saga graphic novels. So I have volume one to seven. I have this random Twisted Fairy Tales book. I have a Kardashian book. <laughs> and then I have two books from my childhood. They're just like nursery rhymes and stuff. Then I have 17 Ultimate Guide to Style, which I bought in high school. I literally don't know why I still have it, but I do. And then I have the Divine Comedy. This is in the same edition that all my other classics are in, so they're the Arcturus edition, and this is a beautiful illustrated edition. It's so pretty. I have yet to read it, but I am very happy that I do own it because it's very beautiful, and I cannot wait to read it at some point. And that is my entire book collection. So that is it for my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!